Tis the season to celebrate the holidays. Yeah, the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum got winter lights display that you can check out and, you know, get you all feeling in the spirit a little Shayla bit. Shayla Reeves is already doing that for us out there to tell us all <laughs> about it this morning. She's got the lights ready to go. Some snow falling her way, Shayla. All the things, Heather, and we are literally in a winter wonderland this morning. The snow is falling, and it's a great, great thing to, to see here as we talk about the winter lights returning to the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum. I'm here with Wendy Composto. You get the important job of designing what people see when they come to this experience. What are you most excited about them getting to explore this time around? Oh my gosh, right behind us is our warming house. And so this is right over by the sensory garden where we have our fire pits. And so people have been asking every year for hot cocoa. This is the year that we're gonna have hot cocoa because we have this beautiful warming house over here. And, and there'll be a bar in here with snacks and hot cocoa and s'mores, of course. And this is just one of the ways that people can take that little break when they come. They have a one mile route, a self-guided tour that they can take to see all of the fascinating things uh, that you've got set up for them for winter lights this time around. One of the new additions, you've got the moose and you've got this woodland theme for a section, the overall theme though, botanical. Absolutely, yeah. Our new um, winter woods has a moose and a stag and cute little vignettes of tents that you can walk by and enjoy. But, um, here's a look inside. When you come inside of the warming house, this is what you'll see. Uh, you'll, it'll be a little more lively when you come for the visit. But of course, there are some great nights that people want to keep in mind. Tomorrow's opening night, uh, but you've got date nights. You've also got a night for photographers, some really cool themed experiences for folks to plan around, even a party for the new year. Absolutely, and uh, family night too. We have a family night coming up um, the 26th. So a time that you can bring your kids out a little bit less, um, smaller crowds, um, crafts, cookies, cocoa. A whole experience. Exactly. So some of the favorites that are returning, you've got that giant weeping willow, about 16 feet, uh, the nod to the, uh, to the work with apples. You've got the giant apple yes. back. Uh, what else can people who have those favorites that they know and love, what will they be able to experience? Well, we have our winter village up on Scarecrow Hill again. And so that is absolutely adorable. And our poinsettia tree inside. Um, sponsored in part by Bachman's this year. So it's gorgeous. It's pink and red and white. Wow, that is something to see. Always one of my favorites too. Wendy, thank you for being here. Heather and AJ, this is a great way to escape that little wind that's been blowing this morning. Yeah. We've enjoyed it. I know folks at home are gonna enjoy it. All of this kicking off tomorrow. We were right. just talking to Shayla. Like I love too. They've got like the little fire pit set up there too, where you yeah. can actually, you know, do some s'more roasting out there. It's yes. a great experience if you haven't checked it out. No. And yes. Shayla, you've been showing us all the cool stuff outside, yes. but I forgot about the poinsettia the tree poinsettia inside. Tree. I love that thing. Yes, <laughs> that's that's amazing. So incredible to it see is. that every year. Just a piece of art. It, it is <laughs> something All to right. see at the arm. Shayla, thanks. And if you want to check out the winter lights at the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum, they do open up tomorrow. Tickets cost ten dollars for members, thirty dollars for non-members. Kids fifteen and under are free. They are open through January fifth. The date is November 20th. Mm -hmm. That does not matter because this morning we are all about spreading some holiday cheer. And we are at the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum. They will open up their winter lights display tomorrow for <laughs> everyone fun. to see already. <laughs> it's oh, you snowing can see the snow. too. I know, doesn't it look incredible back here? It is such an exciting time of the year and officially tomorrow, the winter lights kick off here at the Landscape Arboretum. I'm here with none other than Wendy Composto. Good to see you again. A sign of the season when I see you. Yes. And it's always exciting to see what you're adding, what's new. What can people expect when they come this time of around? Okay, well, as always, it's a walking tour, and this year we have our new winter woods. It's just it's a little nod to the um, North Woods, and we have this beautiful Mr. Moose right behind us. <laughs> One of the new additions that people have a chance to check out. And, of course, if they are also looking to stay warm, you've got a mm -hmm. new way for them to do that when they come. Yeah, we've had s'mores down in, in the Century Garden for years, and this year we have a warming house. Our Ordway shelter, we've 
tarped it off and we're going to put a cash bar inside. So people have been asking for hot cocoa with their s'mores. And so this year they'll be able to have that. This year they'll be able to enjoy that. And they'll be able to also enjoy some of the favorites that are mm -hmm. returning this time around. Of course, you've got the giant apple. Yeah. And for the last couple of years, you've also had the 16 foot weeping willow. Is that right? Yes. And that's up again. Uh, that's definitely a crowd favorite. Yes. And for folks that are going to be visiting, you have some themed nights that people will be able to enjoy. Uh, what are some of the nights you want to highlight? Oh, family night is coming up on November 26th, and that's just a time that we have a lower attendance and we have crafts and cookies and cocoa. Um, we also have a family night on December 19th, and then we have our date nights that are really popular on um, December 5th and 12th, and we'll have Costa Rica ballroom dance coming out to give out free dance lessons, and then we'll have live music on those nights too. Adult-only crowd, so you can come out and enjoy just a more relaxed atmosphere. And one of the great things, of course, you've got the one mile walk where people mm -hmm. can really take their time, enjoy what they're seeing out here. The overall theme, botanical this year, but the area where we're looking at this fabulous giant moose, it's the woodland area. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I'm, and this fence here was made with wood that we found all around, you know, trees that had fallen at the Arboretum. So special fence and that's probably my favorite part of the whole exhibit. All right it's always so wonderful to see what you add, what's new, what people can explore. Uh, such an exciting time. Remember it all kicks off tomorrow officially. Uh, you'll be able to come enjoy this uh, winter wonderland with your family. For sure. Heather and AJ. I'm not gonna lie, I was, I was a little grinchy. I was, I was a little grinchy coming into today. When you saw the snowflakes saw coming the snow. down on Shayla. That's it, they did it for me. Yeah. I'm here for it. Yeah. I'm here for it. Whatever brings Why you joy. Why do that for you? <laughs> Shayla, Shayla's yes. bringing that joy. That's what we're here the for. The lights will do that. They'll they will. Make you smile. They're, 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 they're twinkling. They're, they're certainly twinkling. twinkling. That moose is impressive too. All right, Shayla, thank you. And if you want to check out the winter lights at the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum, they do open up tomorrow. Tickets $10 for members, $30 for non-members. For kids under 15, it is free. They are open through January 5th.